Hello everybody, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. How are all my people doing? I see Lorraine coming in from Australia. We've got Patsy here. I see that Debbie shared. Thank you so much. I've got so many people on waiting for me tonight. Sherry from Delaware. Rockford, Illinois in the house, Snowy Wichita. Yeah, welcome everybody. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I have missed you guys so much. Like crazy, crazy, right? I was gone for a whole week. Yeah. Is anybody still full from Thursday? Uh, yeah. I, yeah. It was, oh my gosh, my mom made Thanksgiving dinner and I helped. What did I make? I made the dessert and I carved the turkey. Yeah, I think that's all I did. <laughs> but it was like an all day thing. <laughs> the dessert, my niece, um, my niece picked up or she was going to make the dessert and then she wasn't feeling that good. Her mom told me. And then when she got up, she said she was feeling fine, but I already had the dessert like almost done. So I'm like, I didn't mean to steal this from you, but it was um, a pumpkin, they called it pumpkin delight, but I make a chocolate tort. Is it a tart? Chocolate tort's not right. You know, like with that crust on the bottom that you bake for a few minutes and then you do the cream cheese with the sugar in it and then you do chocolate pudding and then you do some more cream cheese and then Cool Whip, that, I make that. I don't know what it's called. But anyways, this just had pumpkin with Cool Whip, I think, in it. So it was really, really good, really good. So I did a good job. It was putsy, but you know, so is my chocolate tort. Yeah, that's what it's called, chocolate tort, I'm pretty sure. Anyways, um, yeah, it was delicious. No, it wasn't any clear. Um, it has like the butter and the flour, and then we used pecans in chopped pecans in the crust, and then you bake it for like 15 minutes, and then you, yeah, some people call it Robert Redford. It's not a trifle. It's a it's a tort. I don't know what it's called, but it's delicious. <laughs> Chocolate or pumpkin. <laughs> So yeah, it's, um, we had a great dinner and I told my mom, gosh, everything just tasted so good. The flavors of Thanksgiving just exploded in my mouth. I kept saying that it was just so delicious. My mom makes everything homemade, like everything is homemade, right down to the green bean casserole. She doesn't use canned Campbell's cream of mushroom soup for that. She makes her own and cooks her own mushrooms and makes the white sauce and and the only thing she doesn't do is grow the green beans and the the onion things come out of a can. Mary says we'll call it a chocolate dessert. Sounds good, Mary. I'm I'm good with that. I think I call it a tort. I don't know. I'll I'll find out. But it's it's delightful. Chocolate lush, Connie says. Rrr. It is luscious, no doubt. <laughs> yeah, food coma on Thanksgiving. I took a little bit of everything and then I went back and took a little bit of everything again. And then I think I was the only one that ate the dessert <laughs> at dinner. <laughs> so I was like, and then I always do the cleanup because my mom has been working hard all day making all of those delicious things for us. So I pretty much cleaned up by myself. How's that possible? I think next year I need to start cracking a whip. What do you think? <laughs> I think so. There was a lot of people there. And I'm pretty sure I'm the only one that cleaned up. <laughs> so my mom helped a little bit. But I, I usually tell her to sit down. I've got it. Right? So um, it is November 26th. Gosh, can you believe that we are almost into December? Like this coming Friday is going to be December. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm reading all your comments. Death by chocolate. Better than sex. Cake. No. That's not what it's called, but I've had both of those, and they're delightful. <laughs> so we were hunting for a week. There was not a lot of hunting in my world. I was surrounded by a lot of hunting, but I didn't do much hunting. 
So we had a little change of plans and I stayed home with the babies. I stayed in the house with the babies and I think on day number two of hunting, I did take Val out in my mom's palace, we call it. Her deer stand is like a house on stilts. I took Val out there and we sat there for a little while till dark maybe, but that was about it for my hunting. I took care of babies. I let the kids hunt. They were super excited and um, we didn't have anybody to watch the babies. And so I did that and I enjoyed every stinking minute of it. Maybe not every minute. You know, sometimes things get a little rough, <laughs> but most of my minutes were enjoyed. Um, Val actually ended up, her and I went up Thursday night. So we got to spend all of Friday together and then people started arriving for our hunting group. There's a lot of people that come hunting and, and we all meet at my mom's house. So that was really fun. And um, then her mom went home on Monday afternoon because she had off work Monday. Her dad went home Sunday night and then Val stayed with me. They took Dawson home and um, it, was, it was really fun. Like Valerie is such a hoot. Um, one, two mornings, actually, her and I sleep in the big bed when it's just us. And, um, I think Kelly is extremely tired. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm kind of exhausted. Yeah. I got a lot of sleep though. I'm going to tell you that. But, um, Val and I, we stay in the camper. I have a camper at my mom's house. It's a little camper and we stay in the camper and it's really fun because it gives us a time to just, you know, relax and it's quiet and, and um, it was just me and Val for a lot of the nights. And then um, I let Haley and Jared and Dawson sleep in the big queen-size bedroom when they're there. And then Val and I sleep on the couch that lays down into kind of a bed. It's not really that comfortable, but whatever. Um, you guys know that my superpower is sleeping, so it's not such a big deal for me. But... Um, <laughs> So I, me and Val, I started calling it the snuggly bed because, you know, it's pretty small and, and we fit in there quite nicely. And um, she, she said, I want to sleep in the snuggly bed with Granny. I want to sleep in the snuggly bed. And so it was really cute. And um, she always wanted to sleep on the outside. I always wanted her to sleep on the inside towards the wall because I worry about her falling off the bed. Not that she's going to get hurt, right? But that she's going to fall off the bed. The first night, she's on the outside, and I don't know how many times she actually fell off the bed. <laughs> so, <laughs> it was pretty funny. <laughs> but one time, I actually, I don't know why, but I was laying on my side, and she's laying here, and she's on the outside. And I opened my eyes just as she was going over the edge and grabbed her and pulled her back. She didn't hit the floor, so... Is that like granny intuition, maybe? I'm not sure. But two mornings, super cute. It was just me and Val. We're laying in bed, and um, she's kind of an early riser, and you guys know that I'm not, right? So if she wakes up, it's dark out, which is great in the winter because it's always dark out. <laughs> and um, she'll wake up, and, and I'll be like, go back to sleep. It's still dark out. <laughs> like, I've got no tolerance for the early riser. <laughs> but... Two mornings. Okay, I'll get to my story now, I promise. Two mornings. It was super cute because she never said a word to me. I was laying there. I could feel her kind of move a little bit. I opened my eyes. She just breaks out in song. Good morning. Good morning. It's time to start the day with good morning. Oh my God. In her sweet little princess little fairy voice it was just the cutest darn thing I just snuggled right up to her and gosh you just get all the feel goods all the feel goods so and we did have a little bit better time with the wetting the pants remember we talked about this last week and um we did really good all the way from Thursday Thursday to Monday she only had one accident but then on Monday she like had three accidents and a lot of conversations and a lot of, I'm not happy with you conversations. And the next day she would be fine, but then the following day she'd be doing it again. So I don't know, but I did start threatening her because <laughs> I, I do that. 
telling her like, if you wet your pants one more time, we are going out to the camper and that is the end of your playtime in here. <laughs> you know, like stuff like that. <laughs> so whatever. Um, I think she's just, she's got the fear of missing out. That's all it is. I truly believe that because she can be fine. And then when she starts playing and gets too preoccupied, blah, it all goes to, you know, wearing a hand basket. But anyways, um, deer hunting. People are asking, how did everybody do? Yeah, she doesn't have any infection. She's not wetting the bed. She's just being too busy, too busy to go to the bathroom. Or like 99.999% sure that's what's going on. Um, so yeah, fear of missing out, Nancy. That it's That's it. She doesn't want to stop to go do her thing because she's going to miss out on that play thing going on. But we'll get under control. <laughs> Thank goodness. My mom is always doing laundry at her house. So I would just throw them in the washer. And by the time we needed anything, they were clean and ready to go. <laughs> uh, deer report. So opening day. Uh, first of all, Haley and Jared got a, um, a buck. So that was really exciting for them. They both shot at it, so I'm pretty sure they both like hit it and both killed it. And so that was really exciting for them. They were super excited about it. Jared had never gotten a deer before. And um, yeah, I didn't really try the reward system, but I did try the threatening system, which wasn't that effective. <laughs> maybe it was, I don't know. But uh, yeah, maybe I'll try that if it happens again. That's a good idea because reward is better than threat, right? I don't know. I'm kind of old school where like you better do what I tell you to do or there's going to be consequences, that kind of stuff. <laughs> uh, but anyways, Haley and Jared got a buck. They were super excited. Seven o'clock opening morning. So that was pretty cool. And Jared had never gotten one before. So um, he just started hunting when him and Haley started dating because he didn't grow up in a hunting family. And um, my my nephew, Tommy, got a buck. That was super exciting. And even, you want to hear something really impressive? They had to go get the deer, right? Because it went over the hill. They had to go get the deer. And my mother field dressed it. My 78-year-old mother. Yeah. It was her and her 10-year-old grandson. Crazy, right? Yeah, that, my mom did that. I don't do that. I, I draw some lines, and that's a pretty firm line for me. <laughs> I'll cut up deer. I'll do stuff like that. But nope, not this girl. <laughs> that's what boys are for. <laughs> and I have me one of those. So anyways, that was really exciting. Nobody else got anything. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Nancy said my friend got a deer with her car. Someone stopped to claim it, and there was an argument that ensued. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, my mom is a hoot, Judy. <laughs> like, she really is. She's something else, I'll tell you that. She's not your normal 78-year-old grandma, for sure. You know, my mom was a truck driver. <laughs> my mom and dad ran a truck. Like, they owned, my dad, uh, my mom and dad were owner-operators on a big truck, and they ran it 24 hours a day. So my mom's quite the tough cookie. I'll tell you that, but she's oh so sweet. <laughs> but don't cross her. <laughs> Just kidding. No, probably not. She'll tell you. <laughs> um, those were the only deer we got. That was it. Um, and then Steve had a giant buck walk up to him. And he was just eating a cookie. And he looked and all he said all he could see was horns. And he didn't get a shot at it. So, but tonight, right before I got done um, designing the cards that we're going to make tonight, I checked my phone because I like go off my phone. I'm like, I have to concentrate. I can't be goofing around with the Snapchat and the Facebook messages and all the things. I just won't. And so I checked my phone when I was done and there was a picture of a very nice buck there. So I was pretty happy for him. Yeah. So um, what else happened? John report. I saw John today. I looked out my kitchen window. We got a whole bunch of snow here in Wisconsin. Um, it started snowing last night, I think. And when I got up this morning, there was like this much snow out there. Like it was a lot and it was very heavy. And I looked out my kitchen window and there was John with his snowblower. And I thought, oh, I hope he snowblows my sidewalk at least. That would be awesome because Steve's gone. 
And you can clearly see that he's gone because there's no truck here. John did not snow blow anything of mine. So I shovel. I shovel the big sidewalk where it goes from way over there to way down there. And I shoveled the whole driveway and the back deck and I did that. And then you want to hear the stupid thing that I did? I left my vehicle sit. Anna's car was sitting behind my car because she was here from last night. And she came out and started her car and put it out on the street. And I thought she left, but she didn't. So I didn't have the keys for mine. And I've got an Explorer, which, you know, is kind of big. And it had tons of snow on it. And so after I got done all shoveling, I went out and cleaned off my Explorer. That was really stupid because now I have to shovel again. <laughs> You can tell that I'm a little out of practice with this. I don't usually have to do that stuff. So anyways, I got everything shoveled up and it looks all nice. And um, the rest of the snow that came down melted. So that was okay. I know. Thank you, Vaughn. I know. Right. And so anyways, um, got that done. And what else happened? We had our turkey stamp camp that went live on Friday. Um, got all the packages out in the mail. And uh, everybody is, we're getting so many good comments on it. Like they're absolutely loving the projects, love the Turkey Stamp Camp. Um, and I say Turkey Stamp Camp because it was called First We Turkey, and Then We Stamp Camp. And we had a special bag made with the logo on it and just so much fun. Like a, a big tote bag that you can fit all your stamping stuff in to take it someplace, whatever. And um, we're getting a lot of good comments on that. So we'll probably do one of those again. It was really fun. <coughs> and Debbie says she finished all her Stamp Camp cards and loves them. Thank you so much. There were 15 cards. We designed 15 cards for the Stamp Camp. It was so much fun. So thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Um, Cheryl loves her tote bag. I know, right? <laughs> so... We got that out. Um, my mom is doing better. And I told you guys she had strep throat. But she found out after she went in and or talked to uh, her doctor's nurse or something that she actually didn't find or didn't have strep throat. When they called, she was really sick and she was kind of half asleep. And she said she thought they said she had strep throat, but they're actually telling her she didn't have strep throat. So that explains why the antibiotics, I don't know, didn't work. But Anna was super sick, too, for like since October 1st, and she's just now feeling better. They put Steve on steroids. And so then I told Anna that and she's like, you know, I think I have some steroids. On day two of the steroids, Anna was doing better. So whatever this was, if you have it and it's not going away, Lou Ann. So she's been sick for three days. Yeah, we thought it was just a cold too. I hope it is. But if it continues on, the steroids are the ticket, at least for several people in my family. And I also was sick for a long time. So whatever. Um, being sick, it's part of the game, right? It, it is the season. So anyways, um, while we were up north, we had lots of pancakes and lots of waffles. Oh, I love breakfast. We're like a whole big breakfast family. And now we're going to have some venison. So that's awesome, right? I know. Trisha says she liked and shared. Um, thank you so, so much. Um, I would love for you guys all to click on that like button. That really helps me out. And also share this video someplace on your screen. There's some place to share. Always appreciate that. If you are coming in here for the first time, please make sure you leave a comment just if you say hello. Because everybody that comments gets um, entered in a drawing to win fabulous prizes. I'm just reading comments here. Kathy says she's been sick on and off for a month. Yeah, Kathy. You've got the same thing. You've got the same thing that we had. I was sick for over a month. I would start to feel better one day. I'm like, oh, I'm starting to feel better. This is awesome. But by the end of the day, I was down again. It was terrible. And Barbara wants to know if we ever make biscuits and gravy. I don't, but that is my favorite. Like, I am a biscuits and gravy girl. I love me some biscuits and gravy. Somebody asked what happened to my finger. Nothing actually happened to it. But unfortunately, I broke my fingernail. 
and it looks nasty and I can't I don't have this color polish to try and cover it up so I shouldn't stick my middle finger up right but um I have a blues clues band-aid on <laughs> and I thought I would just save you guys from having to look at that ugly broken fingernail I broke my first fingernail on the first day I got my nails done and then I just broke this one like today and I I cut it off and then I broke it again I don't know what's going on with the broken fingernails, but I was packing for hunting, which is kind of, you know, some pretty physical stuff. So, okay. And today I was unpacking. So maybe that's it. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, give me a like, give me a share. Make sure you leave an, um, a comment. I was going to say, make sure you leave an order. Orders are always great. Make sure you leave a comment to get, um, to get entered in the door prize drawings. Yeah, Patricia said she went from sinus infection antibiotics and then went into bronchitis antibiotics and steroids. Yes, 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 and yes, exactly. Anna went in twice to the doctor, got two different medications. None of them were working. She ended up with a double ear infection, sinus infection, and then they gave her the steroids and the steroids worked. So, and I know Joe has RSV, so that's crummy. Oh, Joan makes biscuits and gravy. She doesn't like it. I'm so sorry. That's sad. That makes me sad. I love biscuits and gravy. <gasps> I've not I've never made it though. My my dad used to make it. And it was really good. But yeah. Um reading comments, reading comments. Oh, I'm so happy to see all you guys here. I really did miss you. I really kind of checked out last week. My mom's house. The internet is pretty sketchy. The internet works pretty decent, but I didn't want to be on my computer, right? Well, I'm supposed to be visiting with family and on vacation. And my phone doesn't hardly work at all while I'm there. Like, it's terrible. Like, the service that I get at my mom's house is horrid. I can hardly ever get through phone calls. or like, boop, 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 boop. It's terrible. I hate it. I love going to my mom's, but I hate the lack of phone service. And sometimes it's okay, right? I need to just check out. Just check out, Kelly. Check out. Okay, um, oh, I didn't know there was something on the back of my little note thing here. I've got prizes. Yay! Diana asked how my mom is. My mom is doing really good. Um, she is still coughing up a lot of crap and blowing her nose, but she's feeling so much better. And boy, we were lucky because she's like makes some pretty good breakfast and uh, we got to eat pretty good. And again, I always clean up. Like, Mom, go sit down. Let me take care of this. So she's pretty good about that. She, she listens well. <laughs> oh, I better plug my phone in. Hang on. I don't know how much charge I have. I wasn't doing anything on it today because I was working. I was coming up with fabulous ideas for you guys tonight. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. Um, don't let me forget to show you my mail. I got a lot of mail while I was gone. And I have some really pretty things to share with you. And yeah, sinus infection thing, Diane, I'm sure that that's what everybody seems to be having right now. Um, Judy says, I fell on Monday and had to go to the ER by ambulance. While I was there, I caught COVID. Yeah, isn't that great? I'm sorry. Right? Joan said she would cook if somebody else cleans up. I don't mind cleaning up. Like cleaning up, I can boom, 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 boom. I'm very efficient. Get her done. I hate cooking. Hate it, but I loved making the dessert because, like, baking and making desserts and party food that's that's my superpower. And sleeping one night, me and Val went to bed before 6 p.m. Oh, it was before 7, not 6. It was Sunday night because I wanted to stay on until my video went live so I could make sure that everything worked last Sunday, right? I did a live, not live, and um, we couldn't do it. <laughs> We ended up going out to, out to the camper before 7 p.m. And then once I get in the camper, I have no internet. Like, it doesn't work at all. And um, so we just went to bed. We were sleeping within probably 15 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> it was fun. Anyways, I've got prizes. So let me tell you about those. First of all, for commenting, everybody who comments gets entered into a prize to win fabulous prizes. Is that Jane Wiki? Jane, it's so good to see you. I'm happy to see you on here. She was sick for almost four weeks. Yeah, I know. I was too. I'm telling you, it was terrible. Look what I have. Faceted Gem Trio Pack. I always forget what it's called. 
faceted gem trio pack. These are so pretty. These are part of the Magical Meadow suite of products, and I'm giving them away tonight. For commenting on my last live, I have these going out too, and I know she's watching. Carolyn Ketchmark, these are going to be yours. Woohoo! Carolyn is from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Watch for your happy mail this week. I already have the envelope ready to go, so those will be going out in the mail tomorrow. Woohoo! Next up, for sharing my video. Everybody who shares my video gets entered into a drawing. That's whether you share it here right now. I see Carolyn on here. Yay! Um, I'm waving at you. Did you see that? <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Um, whether you share it on here on um, YouTube, share my post out on Facebook. Everybody gets put into a drawing to win fabulous prizes. I have some slim line envelopes. These are really nice for making slim line cards. It is a whole pack. There are 15 in here. You've got the green, gray, and white, five of each. Kathy Goodnow of Gorham, Maine. These are gonna be on their way to you. <laughs> Carolyn says she went back. I know, I don't know why I'm like, oh, I, oh yeah. <laughs> Anyways, Kathy Good now, Gora Maine, you have some slim line envelopes coming your way. I already have my everything is packaged up. I've got labels on it. It is ready to rock and roll. Last but not least, everybody who places an order with me also gets entered in a drawing to win something. And this week I have the sincere. What, or, I'm sorry, Sincere. Scenic Wonders stamp set. This is beautiful, you guys. Oh, love, love, love this. And um, this was donated by Polly Libby. Polly, thank you so much. Um, everybody, we, we get to take advantage of this, right? When somebody, Polly double ordered and rather than send it back and exchange it with the company, she sent it to donate. And we are so grateful. So thank you so much for doing that. This is going out. The drawing winner is Isabel Lopez of Hammond, Indiana. Isabel, I hope you're watching. You have this coming in your mail. Watch for your happy mail coming this week. So that's pretty exciting. Let me get this in the envelope. And there we go. Winners, winners, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh, my computer just turned on. That was weird. Okay. So, um, I think we are ready to turn this camera around and I have a couple things to show you. Yay! Don't let me forget about the mail because along with my mail, excuse me, um, I'm a little stuffy tonight and I have to tell you guys about an hour before I was due to come on, I was still working on projects for tonight and I started feeling kind of crummy. Um, I'm feeling a little better now, but just my eyes started burning and, you know, it's like, oh, great, because <laughs> I haven't been sick enough over the last month or two, um, but I don't know that I'm going to have the energy to get my blog post up for the projects we're going to make tonight. I will get it up. If I don't do it tonight, I'll do it in the morning, but that's a couple, two to three extra hours of work for me after we're done here, which I don't mind doing. But I don't know that I'm going to have the energy to do that. Um, Nancy says, can I send something as a donation? Sure you can. Sure you can. Um, as long as it's a Stampin' Up! product. Absolutely. Because, you know, I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. <laughs> so, yeah, that kind of thing. <laughs> okay, so I am going to flip the camera around. And we are going to... Take a look at some other things. I know you are tired. Nancy says, I know you are tired. Just wait until the morning. Mary says, you guys are so sweet. I've been off for an entire week and you're telling me to take more time off. That is, that is lovely. I mean, it really is. Like, thank you because I don't know. I'm kind of like, oh, you need to get your butt to work, girlfriend. But I really did have a nice time off. Sorry, I keep jiggling you. I just like things to be straight. It's annoying when they're not. So, 
First of all, did you guys catch these last week? Like, I love this. I love these little sour cream containers. If you missed it, this was my live, not live, I shot a video before I left for hunting. Um, so you guys wouldn't be lonely on Sunday night, right? I absolutely adore this card layout and it's designer series paper and you get to see both sides, right? I I absolutely love this. I think it's so beautiful. I used the Magical Meadows, which we're going to use again tonight for a totally different card. Um, oh, I tucked these little sprigs in here. I didn't actually glue them, so I see this one's kind of coming out. I just kind of tucked it under there. I need to get that glued in there. But aren't these fun? You can put some candy in here. They're so super easy to make. And I have two of these cards because I made one for my sample so I would know what I was doing. And then here's the one that we made on the video. And so I decided to use both sides of the paper for each of the sour cream containers. And they just these are just a really nice little fun gift. You know what else you could do as I'm sitting here looking at this? You could make one of these and put some little dinner mints in it. You know, those little mints that your grandma used to have in a bowl. <laughs> did everybody's grandma have those little mints? Like, I know that my grandma did. I know Steve's mom did. She always had those. You could put some dinner mints in here and you could stamp this or you could use these as place settings for uh, a dinner, right? Christmas dinner or whatever. You could put people's names on here. That would be super, super sweet and very personalized and pretty. So I just thought of that. I'm like, oh, these would make good place settings with some dinner mints or whatever, or chocolate bonbon or whatever. Anyways, I just thought they were really pretty. I really love this suite of products and I've had a lot of fun with it. Okay, next up. Um... I'm just looking at all the comments. Oh, my thing is way behind. <laughs> Hang on. There we go. Yeah, see, butter mints, Sarah said. My grandma always had butter mints. Yes, and Steve's mom always had a bowl of them too. And um, those would those would be great in those little sour cream containers. And of course, it's a, like a little after dinner to freshen up your breath or whatever. So um, last chance product list. I just printed this out and we have our last chance products available. Some of these items, you can see the sale items right here. We have sale up to 60%. This is the Precious Pinecone stamp set, 60% off. We've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60% off. And lots of goodies. These are the items that are retiring from our current September through December mini catalog. So. I do have a PDF of this list on my blog. You're going to find my blog right here. And while we're here, um, the host code that I'm using is the same one I used last week and the week before, but it is going to change soon. So if you happen to put an order in with me, and I always appreciate your orders, you can find my online store right on my blog. Um, this is my current host code if your order is under $150. If your order is over $150, you don't use this code because you're going to get rewards from Stampin' Up! And I definitely want you to have those. But if your order is under $150, use this code. You can find this on my blog anytime. It's in the right-hand column. It's also at the bottom of every blog post before you go to the next blog post. Okay, so last chance product list is on, the, um, on my blog. And when you get to my blog, you're going to see some little thumbnail pictures. And then if you wanna see more about what that little picture is, you click on read more or something like that. One of the pictures is 60% off, up to 60% off. That's where you're gonna find the last chance list. You're also going to find the carry over list. These are the items that are going to carry over either into the next annual catalog or into the next mini catalog, but they're gonna continue. And some of them are carrying over to be online exclusives. And the, I know this is really tiny, but the online exclusives have an asterisk next to them. And again, you'll find this list and the last chance list on my blog. Look for this up to 60% off little um, graphic and you'll find the PDF of these. You can download them, you can print them out, you can do whatever you'd like. Okay. Couple things. I've been talking about the Winter Owls class. We're going to be using this um, this 
uh, suite of products or arrangement of products tonight for another card and a little treat holder. Yay! I was able to um, design a little treat holder, so I'm excited about that. I do have a online class that has the whole kit and caboodle for um, $98, or you can get the pre-cut pre -cut cardstock is included with that pre-cut cardstock with the pecan ribbon, which we're going to be using tonight, and the festive pearls we're going to be using tonight. You can get all that for $45, or you can get the PDF for $20. There are six different cards in there, all with video tutorials, dimensions, and brief instructions with photos. So I also have the Modern Garden class. This is a really fun class. You can find all these classes on my blog. The Heartfelt Hexagon class was scheduled to go out before I left, and that didn't happen. I apologize for that, but I will be getting that out early this week working on that tomorrow. I have the cards designed. I just need to shoot videos, type it up, cut cardstock, sort and pack and get it out of here. So that'll be happening this week. And I also have the Trucking Along is back in stock, has been for a little while here. I think I have some of these left too. If you ever look in my online classes, which is in the left-hand column on my blog, you're going to find all of these classes with details. If it doesn't say sold out, it means I still have a few left. So if you're interested in that, this is super duper cute. Last but not least, Stamp Happy Academy is a membership website. It's a subscription. Um, you can get a basic, basic membership for $19.95 a month. It gets four new online classes every single month and special events throughout the year are included. Premium membership gets all of that plus three additional live classes every month. So you can find all the information for this at um, stamphappyacademy.ning.com. Everything is there. If you have any questions, let me know. I am always happy to answer your questions. Okay, let me put this away. Let me change my glasses back because these are my read my phone screen glasses and these are my business glasses. Get down to business. That's what I do. All right. Let's see. I think. Oh, I know what we're going to do. We're going to do a technique tonight. You guys know that I have an online technique club. And so we're going to be making the online technique club card. I always do that for you in a video and tell you all about the technique club. So we are going to be using the Magical Meadow bundle which also has a set of dies. Oh, and I've shown these to you guys. I, I, have an on, I had an online class for these. And beautiful, beautiful dies. Absolutely love these. I have had such a good time with this bundle of product. Love it. The paper's gorgeous that goes with it. This is not the paper that is part of the suite, but it's what we're going to use tonight. This is the A Walk in the Forest designer series paper, and I've used a lot of this already, but this paper is one of the um, designer series papers that for every pack Stampin' Up! sells, they donate $3 to Toys for Tots. So this is really exciting, and I love that um, there's some benefit for others when we get this paper, and it's super, super pretty. We're gonna be using this pattern tonight. And again, this is called a walk in the forest, 12 by 12 paper. You get two of each sheet and there are six different designs for a total of 12, 12 by 12 pieces. Okay, we are gonna do a little bit of embossing. That's always fun, the magic of embossing. It just never fails to really be a big wow for me. We're gonna use the, um, um, Festive pearls. <laughs> I almost couldn't remember that. The festive pearls. And then, is this called the wood grain folder? I'm going to look that up because for some reason, I can never remember the name of that folder. And so I'm going to look it up right now. Timber 3D. There you go. Not wood grain. It's timber 3D embossing folder that looks like wood. I've actually made baby cards with the wood grain and pink and crumb cake and oh, so pretty, so pretty. 
Oh, you guys know what? I almost forgot to mention. Look at this. We have new mini catalogs and celebration coming out very soon. Now, Stampin' Up! allows us to do what they call a mailing selector. So all of my customers, I can sort and do um, a report that gives me all of my customers that have purchased $50 from me in the last six months. And I set those parameters. So I go in and look, last six months, $50. If you have made purchases from me over $50 in the last six months, you're automatically going to get added to my mailing list. If you are a discount shopper demonstrator and you do not need a catalog, but you have ordered through me, can you pop me an email and let me know so I don't send you another set of these catalogs? Um, we have to pay for these, so I pay for all the catalogs that I choose to have sent out. Stampin' Up! sends them out for me, which is just a big time saver. But we have a brand new mini catalog coming out January 4th. It's a January through April mini catalog. I can't show you the inside, it's against the rules, but I can show you the cover. Also, celebration starts on January 4th. Oh, I'm so excited. It goes till the end of February, and both of these will come to you in the mail. And again, if you've placed $50 in orders with me in the last six months, you do not need to contact me. I will automatically be putting you on my mailing list. If you are new to me, and you haven't had the opportunity to order or order a minimum $50. If you would like to get the next set of mini catalogs, please pop me an email at kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at asampabub.com, right here, kelly at asampabub.com. Give me your address, and I would be happy to add you to my mailing list. Um, and remember, if you order catalogs for me, I appreciate your orders because I do have to pay for these. And I hate to be like, that sounds kind of like, I always feel a little funny about it, but I am not nonprofit. I pay my bills with this stuff. So, and I love my job. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, but I just want to make sure that you know that when you order catalogs, I am paying for those. So an order is appreciated. I can't force anybody to order, but you know what I'm saying? Let's just be real. All right. Cherry Cobbler shaded spruce and then I got this beautiful beautiful pecan ribbon this bordered ribbon is so pretty it has like a satin border on it and it's really soft and I love it so much um how long do demonstrators have to wait to get their catalogs mine just came so depending on where you live Joan is uh, you should be getting your catalog soon and um, these catalogs, I think, will be sent out the second part of December. I'm not sure exactly the date for customers, just so you know that. And if you join my team, um, starting December 5th, we can actually pre-order from those catalogs. So that's exciting. We don't have to worry about anything being out of stock or back ordered or any of that stuff because we get to order first. And you can join my team and just do it for the discount. Most of my team members are discount shoppers. I get people apologizing all the time to me like, why well, would just be a discount shopper? You're not just anything. Everybody's part of the team. Whether you're going to be a discount shopper or try and build a business with this, it doesn't make any difference. You are considered a demonstrator um, and you get all the benefits that I get, right? So that's cool. Okay. This, like I said, is part of my monthly technique online club, this card that we're going to make now. Oh my gosh, look at how pretty this is, right? And I always like to do a video to show the technique, and then I'll tell you a little bit about what's involved in the online technique club. So we're going to be using Cherry Cobbler. This is five and a half by eight and a half, and I'm going to, oh, I already scored it. I can feel it bending for me. I usually don't score when I fold this way. I usually only score tall ones, but how nice. How nice that I did that for myself, <laughs> right? And then I have a basic white envelope. I've got two pieces of four by five and a quarter inch basic white. I've got two pieces of cherry cobbler. Both of these are three and a quarter by four. 
And then I took the designer series paper and this is a walk in the forest. Let me make sure that's right. Yep, a walk in the forest designer series paper. I cut this at three and a quarter by three and three quarters. The other two items I have here is a scrap of cherry cobbler and a scrap of our vellum cardstock. This is so nice. It's thicker than normal vellum. And I love using this as an accent, which is what I'm going to do with this card. Terry said she got her catalog on Friday. She's in Colorado. And Donna said she did not get her catalog yet in Washington State. Hang on, I'm taking a drink here. What are you guys drinking tonight? Joanne is also um, on the West Coast. She did not get her catalog yet. <clears throat> Still reading. No catalog in Virginia. Nancy got hers on Friday. Yay! Ice water, Diet Pepsi, Sprite, lemonade. White wine. Way to go, Nancy. I'm drinking my strawberry lemonade. It's what I always drink. <laughs> okay, we're going to do the technique right away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer because we have a little trimming to do. So like I said, this is three and a quarter by three and three quarters. So this is the three and three quarters. We're going to put this in our paper trimmer. And we are, oh, by the way, let me tell you about our technique first. This is a mosaic technique. That is going to be my technique for the month of November. And how my online technique club works is you have to place a minimum $25 order through me each month. Each month you will get a card like this and an instruction card that has the actual technique on it. And at the end of the... You do that every month for six months. At the end of six months, you get a $30 same as cash credit. You can order whatever you want. And I cover $30 of it. So that's fun, right? And each month you get a card and an instruction sheet with the technique on it. So at the end of a certain period of time, six months, a year, I have people that just keep going after their six months are up. You have a whole stack of technique ideas with the technique sample on them. So you're like, oh yeah, I remember that. Or, oh, I forgot all about this. That's pretty. So what we're gonna do here on this three and three quarter inch side is we are going to take and we are going to cut this at an angle. It doesn't matter which way you go with this, but I go about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch with this corner and about a half an inch with the opposite corner. So I am going to tip that. You can see that it's not in there straight. And here's what we have. I'm going to line those up. Let me move this out of the way. I'm going to line those up. Let me put this right here. This will work out really good. I'm going to line these up. Keep them in order. It's just easier if you do that. So now you can see this is slanted this way. And now I'm going to come in and I'm going to go about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch up here. And we're going to do our slant the other way. So here's our next piece. Can you guys see that over there? I hope so. I'll move this over a little bit. And then we're going to do it again. And you can make them thin. You can make them thick. You can do whatever you want with them. Any way we go, this is going to turn out really cool. And you're just going to keep doing that all the way across the paper. Uh, I think I'll do this one a little bit. I don't want it to be straight. You don't want it to be straight. That's the whole thing. You want it to be at an angle. And then I think I'll do one more just like that. Well, that looks pretty straight on the edge, doesn't it? I don't like that. It still looks kind of straight. <laughs> there we go. I made a decision. Got her done. So this is what we have. Okay, let me take my jacket off. I'm starting to get hot. I noticed my next door neighbor has her Christmas lights up, overachiever. <laughs> How many of you guys have your Christmas lights up outside? I did take my Halloween decorations down, so I'm pretty proud of myself for that. 
but I still have fall pumpkin-y things out of my front porch. So those have got to come down and I'll get to it. Don't worry. These two pieces are both the same. These are both three and a quarter by four. And what we're going to do is we're going to add these, these strips to this layer. This is a mosaic technique, like I said. So, yeah, so I need to get my Christmas stuff out, put my pumpkins away, and get all that done, too. So we're going to start right at the very edge. And that straight edge was the very edge of my cardstock. It's going to go right over here. And now we're going to leave just a little bit of space in between all of these pieces. So if you were doing a mosaic, they always leave a little space in between, kind of like a faux tile technique, right? So anyways, my neighbor's got her lights out. She's got blue lights. I kind of wanted to do blue lights, but I don't want to be two houses right in a row the same. So now I've decided maybe I want to go full on color like all different color lights. That's so pretty, right? And I just found this mousse, this light up mousse, like made out of that mesh stuff, um, like an outdoor big decoration thing that you plug in and it's all lit up like a snowman or something, but it's a mousse, super cute. Found it on Amazon. I have that coming because I lost all my outdoor decorations in the fire. So I do get to get some new ones So I ordered that, and then I ordered these um, solar light things that are like on stakes. And when you put them in the ground, they make this beautiful star pattern. Like here's the light, and then it does the star pattern on the ground around them. I ordered a set of six of those. Those weren't very expensive. I was really kind of surprised. So I'm really curious to see how they work. I ordered some solar... Um, fairy lights to put in my plants around the pool. I just ordered one set because I wasn't sure if they would be rinky and whatever. I didn't want to order a whole bunch of them if they were dumb. But I also ordered some purple eyeball fairy lights <laughs> for Halloween and they were super cute. They blink on and off or they stay the same, like lit all the time. You, it's got a remote. You can do some stuff with it, but they were really fun. Okay. So, oh, pfft. I have glue on my fingers. Hang on. Oh, where did my baby wipes go? I just used them tonight because I got brown ink all over myself. Do you guys do this? I'm, I'm like, I don't know. I just feel like there's so much more of this baby wipe that can be used. I don't want to throw it away after I rub the brown ink off of whatever I was doing. So it's still damp and I just put it back in there. Is that too much? Is that being too frugal? Do you think like I should just let it go? Oh my gosh. Okay, so here's our piece. And doesn't that look fun? Like it's the whole, it, and it kind of puts the whole picture back together. So I like this. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to bring the our paper trimmer back in here. And you can see, look it, you can see how it's kind of rinky dinky, right? I didn't get it perfect. Some of the edges are sticking up over it, and you don't want it to look all hokey like that. There's all your red, red, redneck words of the day. Hang on, I got something sticking on there. So what we're going to do is we're going to trim this down. And I'm going to take just a little bit off of each side. See what we have to do here. So that this is all trimmed up nice. Now, when we're done with this piece, we need it to be three and a quarter by three and three quarter. No. We need it to be three by three and three quarters. So I might as well, since I already cut this edge off, I'm gonna put it up to three inches. And we're gonna cut, cutting it to size now. I'm getting rid of all that. And then this way needs to be three and three quarters. So I'm gonna put that up to three and three quarters and trim off this end. There we go. And everything looks nice and smooth now. Everything m matches. It's not falling over the side. And now we bring it and we put it on here. And so you can't even tell that there's like another layer under there, right? It all looks like one piece. And that's kind of cool. So we're gonna do this. And again, this piece, 
three by three and three quarters with the mosaic pattern on it. And the piece underneath is three and a quarter, this piece three and a quarter by four, and then the mosaic piece is three by three and three quarters after you cut it down. I hope that makes sense. Okay, now we're gonna grab our ribbon and I'm gonna bring this in. I'm gonna grab my little ribbon scissors here. I do this. Ah, Sally gets to move back into her craft room next week. Ah, that's awesome. I'm so excited for you. I have moved craft rooms around. I was in the basement and then I moved upstairs and in one of our spare rooms and I can't remember why. I think I moved back to the basement. <laughs> I don't remember if somebody moved back in or what happened. I don't know. One of the kids. And then I was downstairs in the old playroom because we had five bedrooms in this house. We only have four now because then I came upstairs and knocked the wall out between two bedrooms and that is where I am now. So I'm in the upstairs of our house, and this is my dedicated office. And I really do love it. I wish it was bigger, but it's not, and too bad. This is what I have, and I make it work. Some people don't have what a, like a room this big, so I feel very fortunate. I'm not going to whine about that. Okay, so I just put that on there, taped it on the back, took a little piece, tied it on here. That makes it easier. Um, you don't have to have a double knot when you're when you wrap it all around and tie it. You would need to do a double knot, so I've only got a single knot there. So that's nice. Now, this is our technique. I'm going to bring in the technique card. Oh, I don't have the card done yet, but when we have the card done, everybody gets this with the instructions on it. It tells you that the video for this is tonight. November 26th. They can find it on my blog and you're going to get a whole stack of these after you've been in my online technique club for a little while. And so you can pull them out and go, oh, let's do that mosaic thing. So it's just fun to be able to have these to reference. All right, so now we're going to make the rest of the card. We are going to grab the scraps and one of our white pieces. So let's do our embossing first. We'll do that first. Where did my, here comes my thing. We're gonna do that first. I'm going to grab my embossing buddy. This comes in the um, embossing additions toolkit. It's a pretty nice little item. I've got my Versamark ink. And we're just gonna stamp that right on here. I've got my white embossing powder. Jamie, um, a demonstrator from Michigan, sent me all these containers for embossing powder, and I really do love them. Um, I do have about two tubs, two little containers of emboss, white embossing powder in here, so I put two in each bowl, and this works really good for me. And I only do that with the embossing powder that I use most frequently. White is one of my big ones. So we're gonna hit that on high with our, tool, our heat tool. And we're going to watch that magic happen. Now, when you emboss, you don't want to overheat it because you'll actually burn embossing powder off but I like to tilt it in the light and make sure that nothing looks dull and if it doesn't look dull this is kind of hard to see shiny but I can just see that there's no dull that means it is completely heat set okay then we're going to grab our stylish shapes and I'm going to go with the third from the smallest and I am going to die cut that I'm going to take this white layer, and this is one of our big folders. So you can decide if you want your wood grain to go this way or if you want your wood grain to go this way. You get to decide which way you're going, and I am going to put mine in here like this. I want my wood grain to go down the front of my card. 
um, vertically. Okay, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna do this. Then with that vellum cardstock, I am going to grab my Magical Meadow dies and I'm going to pick this one with the little berry things on it and I'm going to die cut that on the vellum. So we've got all three of these to do. And here we go. Here's our vellum evergreen berry sprig. Here is our embossed circle and our wood grain for our layer on our card. There's one more thing that I need to do here with there's two white pieces, right? So I'm gonna take that second white piece and we're going to do a little bit of stamping on there. I've got my cherry cobbler ink. Hang on, let me scoop my chair up before I fall on the floor. <laughs> that would be quite a calamity, but my butt's coming right off the edge of it. So um, I think I'm going to do my shaded spruce first. Hang on. I'm going to stamp this image, which is kind of goes along with the vellum sprig that we just made. I'm going to stamp this in the shaded spruce. Isn't that pretty? And then I'm going to stamp, May this, season, May this Season of Sparkle Bring Joy and Delight. And I love that sparkle saying. I think it's just really pretty. Oh, that's really, really crooked. I don't like that at all. Hang on. Let's see if we can get this straight. I'm going to bring this closer to me so I can... don't have to stick my head in there. Yeah, I hate that too. Third time's a charm. Fingers are crossed. Yes, it is. Okay. It's a lot of pressure. There we go. Oh, I messed that up, didn't I? Oh, I hate that. Hang on. <laughs> I'm a little out of practice. I didn't stamp it all over the last week. That's kind of scary. Fourth time's a charm. Okay. Oh, and we're going to do our envelope. Hang tight. I'm going to close that up. I'm going to bring my envelope in here. And I'm going to stamp these berries on there. Or this spriggy thing. Okay. Whew. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> okay. Now... I will put this in my scrap bin and I will use all of this white space. Don't worry. Um, yeah, that was my goofy one. Okay, this can go on the inside. Should I have this in here nice and straight? And this is going to go on the front. Yeah, I can really feel my throat getting sore now, so that's great. <laughs> like seriously. And I suppose I was around a lot of people this week. Oh well. Um, this piece, what I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to do a little bit of trimming. I'm going to trim this sprig off just like this. I just cut it right above the berries and then I'm going to trim off those little spikes. Oh, that looks dumb. <laughs> Hang on. I want this to look good. There we go. I just kind of cut it so it looks like a. it, it was meant to be like that, right? And I'm going to take that and I'm going to put this right here. <clears throat> yep, throat's getting sore. God darn it. Just like that. So it's kind of coming off the bottom down here. And then we're going to put this over here. So I want to kind of do a little, a little test here. Yep, that'll work just fine. 
I'm gonna put this one right in here about like this. <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna put some dimensionals on the back. We're gonna glue this on the front. Hitchhiker. <laughs> this is going to come right up here. Just want to make sure I get those words on there straight. Oh my gosh. Do you love this? I love this. I love it. What do you guys think? <clears throat> Gargle with some oregano oil mixed with coconut oil and water. I do not have oregano oil. But I did make some stuff that my friend Lori sent me. It's onions, chopped red onions in honey and garlic. Chopped minced garlic, minced onions. Where's my take your pick tool? Right here. Covered in honey. And that's supposed to be like homemade sicky syrup. <laughs> Steve had some and it said it gave him really bad heartburn. He's kind of a baby that way. Okay, I'm going to leave those out because we're going to use those again. All right, you guys. What do you think? That is our fun technique called mosaic. Let me bring this in here. Mosaic. So when you're in my online technique club, you get this and this. I'll put them just like this, throw it in the envelope, mail it off to you each month. Now, if you join my technique club, let's see. I'm going to be getting these already cut and everything for technique club. Probably get them. If you join by the 30th of November, you will get this month's card. Um, usually, I send them out the first week of the following month after. Like November's cards would go out the beginning of December. But if you join by November 30th, I'll be able to get everything caught and count you in with the November group. All you have to do is pop me an email, kelly at a stampabove.com, and say, I would like to be in your technique club. I will send you all of the details. You will then have to confirm with me after you have read through them that, yes, I do want to be in the technique club. And I will add you to my list so that you get these beauties coming to you. Um, I might be using different designer series paper just because I might not have enough of this particular print, but I'll use another one in that pack or a similar Christmas one. And um, yeah, pretty, huh? I love this. Okay, so that is Online Technique Club Mosaic Technique. And let me get all this stuff out of my way because we have some more fun coming. I'm excited to share with you my next projects. Yes, locally grown honey. That is what I have. Actually, my friend Rachel, her brother just started doing honey. He has his own beehives and he does the honey thing. And so I messaged her. And I said, I don't like the honey that I have. It was too strong. I didn't care for it. It was dark honey, and it was just kind of icky. Maybe some people like their honey like that, but I did not. And so I messaged my friend Rachel, and I said, please ask Boyd for some honey. I need to buy some honey from him. And she got in touch with Boyd, and Boyd said, Kelly is like family. She gets her honey for free. So he gave me a bottle, and I was really surprised at how much honey that recipe called for because now I'm going to need to get another one and I really feel like I need to pay for it. So like I'm not going to take no for an answer next time. <laughs> That's my rule. Like thank you for your generosity but I really do need to pay you for your honey. Okay our next project can you guys hear my voice is starting to go away. <laughs> yeah that's so strange. Our next project is going to use the winter owls 
which I absolutely love. I have a Winter Owl online class. Um, you can get the PDF or you can get the kit or you can get the whole deal. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Hang on, I need to grab something else. <clears throat> Where is my fragrant forest? Here it is. When we did this online class, we also used this particular um, background stamp, which is really pretty. Okay, so Winter Owls, got that happening. Let me get all my bits and pieces out of here. I've got vanilla, um, very vanilla envelope. Okay, and I'm using the One Horse Open Sleigh Designer Series Paper. Where did my drink go? Hang on. I feel like somebody's stabbing me in my throat. <laughs> I'll be fine. Um, this is beautiful paper. We have some really gorgeous wood grain, but it's got all these <clears throat> scenery patterns in it. Isn't it just so, so pretty, you guys? I absolutely love this paper. So we're going to be using that with the winter owls. <clears throat> oh, no, Trish. I'm no quitter. We're going to stay on here. I have some cool things to show you. But thank you so much for being so sweet and thinking of me. I'll be fine. Okay. Very vanilla, eight and a half by five and a half. I'm just folding it in half and burnishing the edge good. Then we have a piece of early espresso. This is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. I've got a scrap of vanilla. The pool party is two by four. A half inch strip of very vanilla. And then I've got this beauty. I loved the scenery. So what I did here is I cut, hang on, I'm going to dump off these bits and pieces here. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys about my windows. Are you ready for this? So Fred was installing new windows in my house while I was gone. And um, I had two windows that were broken with the fire, right? And of course, they're two newer windows that I've already paid to replace, not the old crummy windows that came with the house we've had for 20 plus years. But um, he came to do that. And guess what? The windows that were ordered for months don't fit. Are we really surprised? I wasn't really that surprised. I didn't get cranked about it. I'm on vacation. I get this news and I'm like, I don't even care. <laughs> but isn't that just perfect? <laughs> and Audrey's taking me to the basement to do the laundry. You go, Audrey. <laughs> I love it. So anyways, we've got, I'm getting two windows replaced that were broken in the fire. And then we had one, two, three windows left in our house that we have never replaced. So they were old crappy windows. Those are the ones that are installed so far and they don't fit the hole in my house. So that's great. Yeah. <laughs> not surprised, Judy said, not surprised. I know, right? I know. And I thought, it is what it is. There's nothing I can do about it. Fred will take care of it, whatever. But I just thought I'd share that with you <laughs> because it's like so typical. Okay, so with this piece of paper, we're gonna put it up to three and three quarters. Boom, cut it like a boss. And then we're gonna go up to five inches here. We're gonna layer this on our early espresso. And I just love the winter scene in here. I just think it's so, so pretty. Okay. We can take this and put it right on here. And I just stuck my finger in the glue on the back of this layer again. <laughs> because why wouldn't I? <laughs> Oops, let me get this. 
Oh, ah, e. There we go. <laughs> Get that centered. And then we're gonna come in with this beautiful, this is online exclusive ribbon. This is called <clears throat> Pecan uh, Lint Met Miderstreep, Midenstreep, that's German. Center stripe ribbon. <laughs> Pecan center stripe ribbon. We're going to take that and we are going to put it right over here. And again, I'm going to do the same thing with it that I did with the other ribbon. I'm going to cut it off. Oops, hang on. I'm going to cut some cords here. I'm going to tape it on the back. Oh my gosh. Ah! Shelby is telling me about her mom, Arliss. I know Arliss. She was a wonderful woman. She had a large picture window replaced. The first one broke when they were uploading it, and then the second one didn't fit. It was a year-long process to get it in place. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why I expected my windows to be, you know, done and complete when I got back. <laughs> because that isn't how things work here. <laughs> yeah. And Fred was like, oh, Kelly. And I'm like, Fred, whatever. Like, I just, I can't even get cranked about it. <laughs> <clears throat> yes. And this, the early espresso really does make this paper pop. And of course I chose it because that's the color in the tree trunk and the shadows on the ground or roots or whatever they are. Oh, look at how pretty that is. Hang on, I have like a hair tickling me or something. It might be too much information. <laughs> there we go. Okay. And then we have some stamping to do. So we can add this to the front of our card. Let's see, what am I going to do on the inside? Oh, I remember. We're going to add this to the front of our card. My mom told me while I was there that um, my dad's brother and his wife are moving in with my cousin and her husband for the winter. They're getting quite elderly and they've had some health problems. And so they're going to go live with my cousin, which I just saw him and his son and grandson in, during hunting. And um, <clears throat> my mom likes to send notes to them every week because she knows they've been having kind of a rough time and my mom is a really nice person like that. And so she just told me yesterday, she's like, um, I am kind of running out of notes again. And I'm like, okay, mom, I am on it. Do not worry. <laughs> oh, another thing. We're going to make a little treat holder that matches this. So I've got two scraps. I'm going to stamp this owl with early espresso ink on the extra scrap for the other project and we'll just die cut them all at the same time then I'm gonna do oh this big majestic owl which I love <laughs> Judy says her neighbor had a new roof put on they used the wrong shingles they had to take all of them off and redo them yeah I don't remember what happened with our siding but they did something wrong out there too and they had to tear a whole wall off and redo it um, with our garage too and I can't remember why because I try to forget things that make me angry <laughs> right it's just a good policy let it go let it go let it go there's a song I never saw that movie isn't that terrible I'm sure I will at some point okay this is warm wishes let's see if I can get this straight oh look at on the first try winning okay um oh I do need to do one other thing here mm. Oh, I'm going to close this up for right now. Okay, so this is going to be our sentiment on that half inch strip. And I am just going to take that and cut it at a slant. Just like that. I try to kind of do them at both, both at the same slant, right? And then we're going to add some dimensionals. Okay. What did Joan say? She says, I have been finishing my five grandchildren birth to 20 years scrapbooking and need some mojo. Oh, that's awesome. You go, Joan. 
that is a big undertaking. I totally would love to be able to say that I'm doing that. Because I, I really do like scrapbooking. Scrapbooking is really kind of on a comeback right now. I'm not going to... Like, it's it's coming back. I noticed that we're kind of talking about it a little bit more in the upcoming catalog. So we have a really cute kit in there. Like, numbers and more cards. Like, it's really neat. Okay, so we're going to do that owl and this owl. And we're going to get those die cut. And I have this one. And then I've got that other one. Okay, so this owl, we're going to take and put some dimensionals on here. And I'm using some minis just so I can kind of push them out to the outside edges of some of these areas. And then I'll use regular ones. Oh, Sally wants to know if Haley's going to do any more scrapbooking. I'm sure that she probably will. Um, I think I mentioned to you guys that uh, summer just kind of got crazy for her and with having two babies mm, she just couldn't dedicate the time necessary to um, continue right at this moment but isn't she talented like I wish I had her talent because she's really good okay next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our pool party ink it's right here and this little two by four inch piece of pool party, we're going to use this fragrant forest background. And I have to be really careful with this because I did the sticker wrong. <laughs> like this is the really sticky part that should have stuck to the, <laughs> Never mind. I just jacked it up. See what I did here? This is way too sticky. So I have to be careful not to put it on paper. Um, like if I would have laid it down on here, it would stick to there and I'd never get it off and it would be all just ruined. So be careful when you put your stickers on. But just know if you ever do it like I did backwards, you're not alone. I'm a professional and I should know better. But sometimes mistakes happen. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to grab a scrap of typing weight paper. I'm gonna take this piece and I'm gonna put it right here. So I'm doing tone on tone with this. I've got pool party ink and pool party paper, nice flat hand. And I do that so I don't get this ink all over my fingers. Look at the trees in the background. <gasps> this is so pretty, you guys. So, so pretty. Okay, how do you clean this? You can use baby wipes or I'm just gonna take out my chamois gonna go like this and get this all cleaned up put my chamois back if you guys don't have a chamois in a clear stamp case they're in my store they're called chamois and put this back in here and hope I never stick it down on paper good grief I tried to save it but there's no saving it because that stuff is where that sticker is is super super sticky okay now I'm gonna put this on the inside of my card right over here and then we're going to have room to write. So I'm not going to put a sentiment in here. This is just going to be like a little note card that my mom can use to send to my aunt and uncle. They live in Townsend, Wisconsin. Do we have anybody here in Townsend, Wisconsin? Beautiful, beautiful, way up north place. Very small town, very quaint. They live right on um, Little, I think it's Little Pickerel Lake. I can remember going there as a child. My grandma lived right in Townsend. And my Aunt Mary was the, like, I think the city treasurer for this city or town. It's really just a town of Townsend. Yeah, my, my, my aunt, my relatives are all in Townsend. Okay. I am going to put the sentiment on first and then I'm gonna fit my um, owl in here. And again, this is one of those cards where your designer series paper really just kind of takes over and does all the work for you, except for this beautiful owl, which I love. And I'm gonna put my owl right in here. Oh my gosh, isn't that so pretty, you guys? 
And then I still got these festive pearls, which is what we used in the class too. And I'm gonna take these pool party colored ones and I'm just gonna pop some little embellishments in here. What do you guys think? Isn't that cool? Now I'm gonna bring in my envelopes and I say envelopes because I made a sample and I don't have a matching envelope. So I'm gonna make two of these so that I will have a matching envelope for when I get ready to send the other card out or give it to my mom. I'm just gonna come in here with that owl. And these are very vanilla envelopes. I love that we have the matching envelopes to match the card, right? What do you guys think? Ah! So pretty. Love this. Now, here's something fun. I, hang on, I'm gonna get these dies back in the case. I have one more thing to share with you tonight. And this was a last minute thing. I'm like, oh, I need some type of little treat holder. What can I make? So, <clears throat> here comes, oh, let me clean this off. This is kind of big to be. Wasn't there another owl? Oh, here he is. Oh yeah, that's the one we stamped for this treat holder. So here's what we're gonna do. Ah. <sighs> These are the kind with the um, Heath Bar pieces in them, I think. That's why they're copper colored. They were the only ones I had in my drawer. And I'm not gonna lie, they're from last year, so nobody's eating them. I will have to buy new ones, but here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a little treat holder, and this is like another one of those little things that's great to take to lunch or give to the teller at the bank, or um, this is also kind of masculine, so you can totally give this to a man. We're gonna take early espresso. This is three by seven and a half. We are going to pop this in here. So let me get this out of here before I get confused. We are going to score this at one and three eighths. And remember, if you're not real good about your eighths, you can go on Google and Google one inch. When you do that, it's going to show you a ruler like this. And I just copied and pasted it into, a, uh, I pasted it into pages, which is Word, but only for Macs whatever, you can put it in an email and print it. And then I cut this out and keep it at my desk. So we are doing one and three eighths. Three eighths is right here. And I, I like to use this as a reference because the eighths and the sixteenths are a little confusing, right? So we're gonna do one and three eighths and we're gonna score that. Then we're gonna do one and seven eighths and score that. Whoops, what's happening? three and a quarter and three and three quarters. Okay, now we're gonna fold on all of these and burnish those score lines good. And again, this is kind of masculine, so I, I like that. We are going to glue this down so this just folds up, just like that, okay? We're gonna glue that down. Before we do that, we're going to put these pieces on here. Now I took the exact same piece. Hang on, I'm gonna put it back to, here we go. The exact same piece of designer paper it's this piece that was right over here with that big tree trunk in it, right? I took that same piece and I cut this at, these are first cut it at two and seven eighths. So this is two and seven eighths. This top piece is two and a quarter and the bottom piece is one and a quarter. So we're gonna take these, whoops, hang on. And I wanted it to kind of keep going as like a scene, right? And of course, you don't have to be this weird. <laughs> 
or you can if you want. And I just wanted to keep this going so that it was pretty matchy matchy. So there's that piece. I'm gonna fold this out and put this piece right here. Make sure that I have it going the right way, and I do. I'm gonna put this down right here. Okay, now I'm gonna glue this down. I can just push that right down like that. It's gonna glue it in place where it belongs. Ah, this is so fun. Okay, and then I thought, mm, I wonder what it would look like if I took this ribbon, which we have on our card, and just wrapped it right around here and tied it in a knot. So we're gonna try that, and if we hate it, we can take it off, because I didn't actually make this yet. This is still in my head. <clears throat> this is a little tricky. To hang on to this. Maybe a mini glue dot might be a good idea. <laughs> Easier said than done, right? Yeah, I think a mini glue dot would be a really good idea to hang on to this. Okay, come on, I can do this. I need another set of hands is what I need. All right, mini glue dot, we're gonna do it. I'm gonna put one down here at the bottom. And another one right here. And then I'm gonna throw one right here. Okay, let's see if I can do it now. I just have to make sure that I have enough here. Yep, I think I got enough to tie a knot. Oh yeah, I think this might be brilliant. <laughs> we'll see. I hear something really loud outside, like a motorcycle, but it can't be a motorcycle. Maybe thunder? I don't know, it's weird. Okay, those mini glue dots definitely helped. I'm gonna make this one. Oh, ha! I don't think we can put the ribbon on there like that. Cause it's gonna cover, it. Never mind. don't do the ribbon. I forgot about these, these go in here. So don't, don't put the ribbon up. I was momentarily out of my gourd. Okay, here is that owl that we had from before. Is anybody laughing with me or at me? Yes, yes, Mary says, shouldn't the candy? Queen Esther, what about the candy? Put your chocolates in. Yes, you guys, I should have been paying attention to you. <laughs> Thank you. I wasn't thinking about that. I was thinking I wanted the ribbon. <laughs> I'm just going to put this all right up here. And then I'll have to get these mini glue dots off of here. But you know what I can do? These aren't hard to take off. That was easy. I did it without tearing anything. Just kind of rub your finger over them if you need to take mini glue dots off. That worked really good. Mini glue dots are really strong, but they don't set up for a little bit. There we go. Okay. Okay, so maybe this is what I'll do really want that ribbon on there because it makes it match my card. What about here? What do you guys think about just tying it in a loose knot and putting a mini glue dot right there? Or maybe I should put it up here in the corner. No, I don't like that. What do you guys think of that? Just make a knot on top. Yeah. Okay. I think I like that. We'll try that mini glue dot thing again. Oh, I don't know where my glue dot went. And we're gonna do that right there. Yes. 
Okay. Oh yes, oh yes, this is gonna work. I hate it when your ribbon tries to run away from you and then it gets crooked. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> Okay, guys, what do you think? Nuggets, any size, of, any kind of nuggets. These just happen to be the copper foil ones. Here's our card. I keep getting that mini glue down. I'm gonna throw that away. And here's our cute little nuggets and they will just pop right up, but they're, they're snug in here so they don't just fall out. You gotta kind of push them a little bit. Ah, oh, thank you guys. I could have, I could have tied that on. Oops, I just messed up my packaging here. Hang on. I could have left that, put my chocolates in first and then put the ribbon in. But I like being able to see that there's a treat in there. I mean, you can feel the weight of it, I would think. But anyways, there we go. There's our little treat. Now, if you want to, you can cut a layer for the back and you can write on it, but I've got a card, so I don't think I really need to write on this, but you certainly could do that. Okay, there is our card with our little mini treat deal, and here is our Technique Club card for the month of November. And now I told you guys that I had mail, and I have swap cards that I wanted to share with you. So, let me move this stuff out of the way. And take a drink. Everybody take a drink. I gotta find my lid to my glue. Here it is. We are good. Let me grab my mail. I've got some really pretty mail to share with you. I showed you these cards, right? This card and my little sour cream containers. I'm gonna move these over. Don't forget to click like, share my video. Orders, this is my host code. I always appreciate your orders. Here is another little box that we made on a live. Isn't that fun? This will fit a lot of stuff in it. But again, with that scenery, and I use some of the distressed gold as a layer under here. Um, here is the matching card. And this was that fun ah, moving card. This is with the winter owls again. This is sending love. And then it's a get well card. Isn't that nice? Our matching envelope. And let's see what else I have here. Lots of things that I've made over the last several weeks that all have like little treat holders or gift holders. Here's our little party card. This is a book fold. Isn't that fun? This is Christmas paper. <laughs> Year to celebrate. And then, oh, what's in here? Something heavy. Oh, look at that. I don't know where I got this from. And that smells good. It's one of those um, oil things. Anxiety. I'm not really sure why I have that because I don't have anxiety, but whatever. I'm going to keep that out so I don't lose that. Um, Little party bag. And then, oh, remember this one? Oh, this is so pretty. I love this. This paper, that foily paper, that is part of the magical... Mountain sweet, I think. Maybe not. Anyways, it's in the mini catalog. But isn't that pretty? And then don't forget we had this cute little box. 
unlock it. Yeah, so there's another matchy matchy. And then what else do I have here? Ooh, I've got this box. Remember this jewel? Let's untie this. Oh, did I even like show it to you? Here, we're gonna do this. I don't want to leave this in here. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Ah, that's a bath and body. Hand soap. I use those all over my house and all my bathrooms and my kitchen. I love them. But this box fits one of these bottles. It's great for a hostess gift like if you're going to somebody's house. Um, I also had matching tissue paper to go with this little box. You guys can find all of these in videos on my blog. Here is a matching card to go with that. And then I think I'm coming down to the last one. You guys, ah, candy bar. I still haven't eaten it, but remember it did, it did I thought ours broke. But here's my little candy bar with the matching card. Isn't that adorable? Okay, so I just wanted to revisit all of these with you guys because I thought they were so much fun. And I'm going to put these away so I don't ruin them. Ooh, I gotta use these. Steve always comes to me at the last minute and asks for, hang on, I got a mini glue dot there. Asks for gift card holders. He likes to give the kids cash for Christmas. One year he decided he wasn't gonna stop doing that, but he never told anybody. That did not go over well. <laughs> And um, his little idea, he was not successful at it because he didn't get to quit doing that. He's like, yeah, I'm not going to give the kids cash this year. I'm going to, I'm like, I don't think so. And then I told one of the kids and they're like, what? I counted that money. That's my fun money. So yeah, he had to, he had to do it. <laughs> that was pretty funny. I'm like, you can't just do that. You have to, like, give them some warning. They count on that. That's, like, their money to go shopping after Christmas. And not that they're, I mean, they're very grateful. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to make them sound like a bunch of brats because they're not. But, yeah, it's like you don't just get to cut off the Christmas thing that you've done for years. It's a jerky thing to do. <laughs> so I saved him from himself. Okay. Cards. Yay. Um, I'm just reading through comments right now, you guys. So just give me a little second to make sure I haven't missed anything. Do, do, do. Um, Amy wants to know if I have a video for the sour cream container. Absolutely. It is on my blog. Go here and you're going to see um, a picture of those projects. And next to that, it says see more, and you just click on that. It'll open it up. There's a video. There's dimensions there. Everything is there. And all of those projects that I just showed you are all on my blog, and they all have videos showing you how to do it, and the dimensions are on my blog, too. So please go take a visit that. Now, when you scroll down to the bottom of the blog page, there's a little thing there that says next. And you're going to click on next or previous because then there's a whole nother page. There's like gazillions and gazillions of projects on there. But this is from my friend, Mary Lynn Weller. She lives in Port Angeles, Washington. This is a real leaf, you guys. Like she flattened this leaf and put it on the card. It's like a real stem and everything. It's so cool. And this is a fun fold, right? How neat is this? And she's just wishing us, um, may your day be filled with the four F's. Family, friends, fun, food, and fun. Thanks, Mary Lynn. I love your card. Next up, uh, did I show this to you guys yet? I got this. I don't think so. I got this from my upline, Ann Hebner. Isn't that the funnest little stamp set? This is in the annual catalog. And she used the radiating dies for this layer, sending you a handmade hug. And this is like a little paper trimmer with scissors. Super cute. She says, congratulations, you are number one in sales for the Stampin' Annie Stampers Group for 2022-2023. Awesome, Anne. Thank you so much. I love this card. Super cute. Then I got a card here from Sarah Thibodeau. I know I say that wrong every time, but I like it. I like the way I say it, Sarah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's on here tonight. 
And um, yay, happy Thanksgiving. Isn't this fun? This is like the nicest fun fold. I love this paper. Super, super cute. Shelby says, did you know that Bath & Body Works now has refills for their foaming soaps? Nope, I did not know that. Thank you so much. I appreciate knowing that. Margaret wants to know, can you get new stickers if you mess up? What kind of stickers are you referring to? New what kind of stickers for what? Okay. Uh, yay. Okay. Um, next up, I have, ooh, this one. Hang on. This is from Diane Gangloff and Chris Myers. You guys, look at how pretty that is. I really love this card. You did a really nice job on it. And happy Thanksgiving. Isn't that fun? They embossed the inside too. I love that idea. Thank you so much. And I do love pheasants too. This one is from Christina Cooper Ryder. <gasps> love this layout. And of course the paper. I love what you did with the ribbon here. The ribbon on the ribbon. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Thanksgiving. And Christina is very happy to be part of my team. Thank you so much. Then we have Marsha Johnson. Marsha. Marsha is the sweet lady that took us for a boat ride when we were in Florida. Anna and Molly came into town and they took us on a boat ride and took us out to lunch. And it was just so nice. Super, super nice people. Look at how nice that is. Ugh. Beautiful card. Happy Thanksgiving. Marsha, thank you so much. This is absolutely beautiful. I love that paper, right? Who wouldn't? And this is from Bobby from Rhode Island. Look at the turkey. I love this. And it's a square card, which is kind of fun. And she put it in a regular size envelope. So don't be afraid to do that because it's just something a little different. It's all about family, friends, and pumpkin pie. Thank you, Bobby. This is fantastic. Then I have, oh, this is a nice one. Hang on, I gotta get this out of here. This came from my sweet Terry. She's one of my team members. And she's been really struggling with some health issues. And she sent us this card. Isn't this pretty? This is from a kit. And um, she also sent us a gift of money. She said she's been sick for a long time and she wanted to send something for the loss of Steve's mom and also to help out with the garage. You are the sweetest, Terry. And we really appreciate that. But isn't this just a cool kit? Okay, we're almost at the end, you guys. Oh, I think this is the last one. I'm thankful for all you do. And isn't this gorgeous? This is from Kimberly Malam love your card little different colors I love that and again three different ribbons on here and that really adds a lot of texture happy Thanksgiving couldn't do what I do without you bless you and your beautiful work thank you Kim you are so sweet this is just gorgeous okay you guys I wish they would bring that paper back too, Jackie. Jackie's talking about the um, autumn paper that was so in such high demand. It was just insane. And Margaret asked about, I didn't, Margaret, you didn't answer about the stickers. Can you get new stickers if you mess up? Which stickers are you talking about? That's why I need to know. What stickers? Does anybody know what stickers? Okay, and I think think if I missed any questions now is the time to ask Audrey says matchy matchy I know right you might do this for grandkids class for Valentine's oh that's a really cute idea love it okay I I don't see anything that I missed doesn't mean that I didn't miss it the sticker you have on your stamp oh um so maybe, but I can't take the sticker off that's on there. It would tear the foam, which would then ruin the stamp being able to be used properly. So I'm just going to leave it. I just have to remember to stick it on my tabletop and not on my paper. And it was my fault. Just learn from my mistakes. <laughs> 
<laughs> thank you. Thank you, Betty. Thank you so much for, um, oh, she did reply. Okay. And I missed it. Your big stamp sticker. Oh, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you, um, clarifying that for me, but yeah, um, I don't know that there's fixing that. And if I did put a new sticker over top of that sticker, it would have to be completely clear because otherwise the print would be all goofed up. It would be, I don't know, it would be the opposite way, I think. Anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. Now, like I said, I will get these. I'll do my photos and my editing and my watermarking and all the things. I'll put all the dimensions and pictures and a repeat of this video on my blog, but I'm not going to do it till tomorrow. And I know you guys understand. You're so sweet. Um, I feel like I'm coming down with a little something and my throat is sore. I didn't lose my voice. So that's good news, right? Um, but yeah, I just, I think it's better if I just go veg out here instead of trying to crank this out tonight. Cause I'll probably mess it up. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So um, again, all of these projects will be found on my blog. I'll get it done at some point tomorrow. I usually then go out to Facebook and post just in case you missed it. Here's a link to my blog and that kind of indicates that it's done and ready to roll. Um, if you have any problems finding it, get in touch with me. You can Google my name and find my blog. Um, I am all over the interwebs and um, yeah, you should you should be able to find me. Anyways, here's my blog address. This is my current host code. I always appreciate your orders. They are what keeps me in business and keeps my bills paid. So I want to thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. It was really good to be back. I miss you all. And I just want you to know how much I appreciate all of you. Whether you're commenting, whether you're sharing, whether you're clicking that like button. Um, just being a part of my evening is greatly appreciated. So thank you so much. And don't forget... It's going to be December on Friday. What? I know. Crazy, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, you guys have a great night. I am going to go get something to eat and probably head to bed. Bye-bye, everybody. Oh, how did that get all crooked? Ugh, I hate it when that happens. I know I'm still here. Good night, everybody.